Hey guys, I'm Tanya Burr. Don't skip this out and you'll not only be able to see the gorgeous pieces that I've bought and how I've used them to personalise my home, but you can also be in with a chance to win £500 of vouchers to spend in home base to personalise your own home. So today I'm going to do a bit of a different video for you. I don't think I've ever done one of these and it is a house and home haul. This is because the other day I just looked around my house and I just felt really uninspired by all of my decorations and just little things around the house. Um, and I thought I want to make a change and the first thing I did, which I'm so happy I did, and I did this without telling Jim because he was in London and I think that he might have been a little bit annoyed with me, but basically I took the piano which was out in the back garden, right at the end of the garden in Jim's like work man shed thing he likes to call it. Um, the piano was out there so I never ever used it and when he was away I just got um, Brian, which is his mum's partner, to come round because he's really um, heavy. I was going to say Brian's big and heavy. Brian's not big and heavy, he's big and strong. The piano is big and heavy and he moved it inside for me and that just kind of started stuff off and you know when you change one thing and then you're just like right I'm in the mood now, I want to reorganise my whole house and change everything. So now the piano is inside, it's right there, I would show you guys but it's in front of me and then today I went home base with Jim, kind of dragged him there and we got loads and loads of stuff for in the house just to kind of redecorate and make the house feel more like a home, just lots of nice homey bits and pieces and I thought that I would show you guys. So I have got lots of home base bags at my feet now and I'm just going to go through them not in any particular order. I'm going to start with this because it's here, um, let's take the bag off, I thought this was so adorable and it's a little watering can with a beautiful little plant in and I do like coloured plants um, too and flowers but my favourite is seeing like creamy white with green together it's just such a lovely combination and then I love that the watering can has got green and white in it as well and I just think this is super cute and I will probably put this in my kitchen. Next thing I've got Oh no, I forgot to buy fresh flowers, I meant to do that. But anyway, I bought a vase and now I have no flowers to go in it so I'm going to have to go out and get some. Um, but I fell in love with this vase, I just, actually, I don't even know, oh, actually, oh, it sounds like a megaphone, can you hear that? Um, I don't know if this was supposed to be a vase, you could probably use it for lots of different things, but I can see my face in it all weird and distorted and I just think it's really, really pretty. Oh, I know what the next thing I got, it was these cushions, and I've already put them on my sofa, and I'll just show you. This one's really fluffy, this one is blue, and this is my all-time favorite color. This, um, I don't know what kind of blue you'd call this, but I love blue so much, and this is my favorite kind. Um, and this one has got a kind of bluey tone in it, and then just grays and creams, and it's knitted, and it's soft, and it's squishy, and love it. And this one is the same as this one because I wanted to get two of the blue because the blue is my favourite. And I think it goes really nicely with the colour of my sofa and I don't know if you remember but before I had red cushions and I think that they just looked a bit Christmassy to be honest and I think we're going into spring and summer now and I think that these now make my house look ready for spring and summer. Now, the next thing I picked up was a little present for my mum because my mum and dad and little brother have chickens and I think they have, my mum and dad are crazy, like they'll get one cat and then suddenly they'll have five cats and they just love animals and pets so much and I think they started with one chicken and now they have eight chickens in their back garden but they said they only get about three eggs a day from them and they always want something really chicken-esque to store their eggs in when they do get eggs from their chickens so I got them this really cute little, it's like a little boat that you put your chicken eggs in and I think it's really really cute and then I got them, I got three of these one for mum, one for dad and one for Oscar, and Oscar's my little brother if you didn't know. Um, all to have their little boiled eggs in, it's a really cute little chicken. So that is a little present for you mum, if you're watching this video. I just saw it and had to get it for you. I am not sure what this is doing in my bag. Thanks was Jim. This is quite a random one. This is for getting my poached eggs out of the saucepan because I have poached eggs nearly every day for my breakfast and I only have one and sometimes it's in the dishwasher or I haven't washed it up. So I definitely need two of these. I love them. Um, what? That's really awful for poached eggs. This is for poached eggs? That's for pasta. 
I thought this was a poached no, egg thing. Po eggs are very gentle and wobbly and that's spiky. Oh, That's I've... why you always puncture your eggs. You're supposed to have like a rounded thing. Yeah, I do eggs. always puncture my eggs. Yes, because you spike them with that. That's... Oh my god! It's called Spaghetti Server. I will go out and get you a, a poached egg thing. <laughs> You clearly can't I've, do always, it I've always used one of these to get my poached egg out. I thought it was good because it lets the water run through this bit and I thought this bit was to capture the egg. Okay then, well I've been using that wrong all the time. Something else Jim has obviously put in the trolley, this has nothing to do with me, a light bulb. I got a new loaf tin because I love baking and I really needed one. I picked up two boxes of fairy lights because I think fairy lights are so brilliant for redecorating. Whether you're redecorating your bedroom or whether you have a whole house that you're decorating, I think that fairy lights can make such a difference. They just look so twinkly and pretty. And when it gets to evening time, I like to turn off all of the big lights and just have fairy lights on around the room. And I do pretty much like to have fairy lights in every single room of my house. For my bathroom, I've got a fluffy white new bath towel and I really don't wanna hold it up anymore because it's just getting fluff everywhere. It's gonna get in my eyes and my contact lenses are gonna get angry. So I'm gonna throw this over here. Now this next thing I think is just the cutest and it's something I've always seen in other people's houses but never bought for myself before. And I think it's so cute and it's a little love sign. And I've seen people have like peace, joy or love or just like cute little um, words in little statues like this around their house. And I always think they look lovely like on windowsills and stuff and I thought it would look cute in like the background of my videos and I don't know which way I need to put this so that you guys can see it. Can you read it now? Or this way? Or this way? I don't know. I'm sure you've read it now anyway but it says love anyway. I've needed somewhere to store my jewellery for so long because I just keep all my little rings and stuff in really bad places. I keep it all in one like box together and then it gets all jumbled up and so I got this which I think is so beautiful oh, I absolutely love it um and all these little drawers open and you can keep I could keep like rings in here and oh oh no I just got my lip gloss on it oh damn it luckily it will rub off really easily clean that later um anyway there's lots of little drawers this is quite heavy so I'm gonna put it down now. I got lots of candles because I think candles are essential for making your house feel really homey and they look pretty and I love seeing the little flame flickering and they make your house smell delicious as well. Um, this is my favorite one that I got, it's mango and strawberry. And I also think the colors just look really pretty. Like I've got white shelves over there and I like to just sit like three candles on the different shelves just because the colors look pretty even if I'm only burning one of them. It literally smells like sweeties, like Starburst, and it's just delicious. My second favourite candle is the rhubarb crumble one, and this doesn't really smell like rhubarb crumble, I don't think. It smells just like the rhubarb and custard old-fashioned sweeties, and it's very sweet, but so delicious. This one makes my mouth water as well. I think I'm probably just a bit hungry. Um, Next, I got a pomegranate one, mainly because I love the colour of this one. I think it looks so pretty. And for me, it's not just how they smell, it's about how they look around your home. Um, this smells less sweet and more kind of like slightly grown up fruity scent. Um, so I'm gonna feel very grown up when I burn that one. Now, save the best till last. There's three more things that I got and this is one of them. Look how adorable he is. Basically our doors, none of our doors in this house, I don't know why, I think it's because they're quite old and they've all walked. None of them stay shut, like they don't click shut and none of them have locks on, even our bathroom doors. Um, and they always swing open and stuff, so we do need door stops. And I just found this little doggy and I think he's so cute. I love the color. I think it's gonna go with like the colors of other stuff that I got for the house. Even looks really cute here. I could have him on my windowsill, but I do need him to keep the doors open, so that will be his job. He's really heavy, so he is a doorstop, I think. Does he say doorstop? Yeah. It says fabric dog doorstop. I really want you guys to name him or her, it could be a her, um, so leave me a comment down below saying what I should name him or her. And so cute. The next thing that I got is to go in this corner and replace my really ugly twigs that me and Jim have just hated for ages and I wanted something really green and pretty. Now I can't lift it to show you in the video so oh Jim's got it, he's just gonna... This is what I got! It's a plant! Hey! You're putting it on my head! Don't put it on my head! Um, 
yeah, so this that really beautiful plant. And I'll tell you what I can do. After I film this, I'll film a shot of it in the corner where it's going to go so you guys can see. So these right now that you're seeing are the really ugly, boring twigs that have been there for ages and have been driving me crazy. And this is what it looks like now with the really pretty green plant. And I'm just really excited about that. And I think it looks lovely with the natural light and the greenery and I love it. But I did, however, buy some more twigs, which I don't know if that was a silly decision. I did buy more twigs, but these twigs I think are prettier than my other twigs. And um, these are like cream ones, and they've already got fairy lights built into them, so I think it will be easy to kind of um, make it look pretty. And I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this yet. Maybe somewhere else in the living room, or maybe even next to the plant. And that is everything that I got. So I'm really excited now to really get to work and put everything in this place and just make my house look really, really pretty. And it's going to make me feel all fresh and inspired. Now, Homebase have very kindly offered one of you the chance to win £500 so that you can make your house a home too. If you're in the UK, you just have to click on the link in the description box to find out how to enter. Now Homebase have very kindly offered one of you guys the chance to win £500 of vouchers so that you can make your house a home too and all you have to do is if you're in the UK you can click on the link in the description box so you can find out how to enter. Now Homebase have actually very kindly offered one of you guys the chance to win £500 of vouchers so that you can make your house a home too. If you're in the UK you can click the link in the description box to find out how to enter. That's going to be it for this video guys, I really hope that you enjoyed it and it gives you some inspiration for redecorating your bedroom or your house and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video, bye! Cross the whole time. Oh, All this fluff everywhere, don't get in my eyes. Oh. old-fashioned 80s that are rhubarb and custard what beep this is my second favorite candle and it's rhubarb Ugh. why is it just flashing why do I do so much stuff with my hands and that is everything balance oh,